guys it's lena from the land of gods and we are doing the september monthly spread for the sign of sagittarius my saggy sun moon rising and venus this is for the month of september guys please remember this is general reading time is fluid energies can be reversed so please take what resonates leave the rest for others to receive if you're here for the first time welcome aboard welcome to my channel and if you've been kind enough to come back thank you so very much welcome back saggies this is the last shuffle we can get going right after this there you go let us see from where we are starting whoa very hippity happy feeling here let's see moon hmm hippity happy with your emotions are you sometimes high sometimes too low i see somebody either too depressed or too excited very extreme emotions on that bandwidth the trajectory is like yeah like that ping pong ball it just you know going everywhere that bouncy ball that you have your emotions are either too high too low there is no balance <sighs> too high too low four of earth something coming out of the blue towards you something you were not expecting in the way that you thought it might come to you king of air this doesn't feel like your energy this is a very cold energy probably this is the energy who has come out of the blue from nowhere hit you and you are just bouncing like that squash ball that ping pongy ball in the squash court wow four of earth what is this out of the blue energy that is coming in and just taking my saggies by surprise and leaving them really really in their head in their head dang okay saggies i was not expecting that let us see where should this go okay towards there two of waters and messenger of air this could be something to do with your partner or someone that you were involved with emotionally but now has turned cold shoulders towards you and it is time to face some ugly truths messenger of air is all about the messenger of truth the harbinger of truth i hear and you cannot turn your back away from that anymore these emotions that are leaving you all hippity hoppity messenger of earth messenger of earth with the messenger of air coming in facing some ugly truths to finally get some grounding is that what it is maybe the way these truths have unfolded themselves in front of you has left you really bouncing around you do not know what to do with these very very high and low emotions messenger of earth let us continue here whoa the star probably it is the beginning a rather rough beginning of a healing process of a healing cycle i hear because you've been running away from this hoppity hippity emotions and now finally they are in front of you and it is leaving you raw i hear feeling very raw and that is the reason you're bouncing around like that but once you face it you might be able to see beyond this pain two of earth yeah there is a lot to balance there is a lot to work upon let's continue justice there's a lot to balance there's a lot to work upon as i said justice popping up right after that yeah this is a rather rough and raw 
way to begin a cycle of healing but probably that is the way it is it feels like you know just pulling that bandit off really fast that's how it feels you need to see your wounds you need to see those ugly truths to finally start working on them yeah look five of water this is grief a cycle of grief that needs to now heal it is now time to heal page of earth and two of fire two of fire two of wands is about being at the edge of you know um, crossroads it's being on the crossroads right choosing a side you have been on this crossroads for quite a bit of time i feel that for some of you kids are involved there is some kind of a younger energy that is involved this is for some starting from the scratch you know when you choose that path you might have to start from the beginning start from square one so this could be both for some people. This could be kids involved and you starting from the scratch. Wow. Wow. Let us see what's the energy underneath. Six of fire. This healing cycle has begun, Sagis, whether you like it or not. And it has begun in a very unexpected manner you were not expecting this clearly but it's taking you towards something that has a lot of hope you've been in that dark zone for a very long time in that fogged head space for a very long time in that depressive state of mind for some, I really truly feel that someone is coming out of a very, very intense cycle of depression and heartache. Let us clarify, people. This is you coming back in your element. There is no fire here, by the way. Lots of truth, ugly truths to be faced, and lots of emotions to be faced. And... That is taking you to you being you again. The moon spirit. Let's clarify the moon. Look. A conflict. Clearly. That left you isolated. You isolated yourself or you were left alone. Whatever that is. It's because of your emotions or circumstances. Whatever that is. There was a conflict. And you have been just juggling with your emotions there. There was a lot of thinking that is involved here. Not necessarily inner introspection. For some, it is. But I feel mostly a lot of ups and downs emotionally. Because of this clash. And you've been juggling. As I said, sometimes really happy, sometimes really excited, sometimes very depressed. There has been no balance here. Four of Earth four of earth five of cups look we had the five of waters here this grief that that you've been dealing with because of this conflict by the way we have five 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 that's your number sajis five 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 and this has been popping in to your reading since i don't know how many months years now five 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 keeps coming back again time to transform divine time of course does not work as per our clock so this could be five months this could be five years who knows but it is that sense of transformation it is going to be like you know working processing through that grief that four of earth is giving me that sense of four of cups you know something coming out of the blue hitting you when you least expect it and that rip off of the bandage happened and that grief came straight 
in your face by this king of air this king of air is not your emotions it's not your energy we have the ace of pentacles and the three of pentacles somebody else brought this up because they want to start something new with you and you are not ready because you are still struggling with these very untamed uncontrolled emotions uh, this conflict is not yet over you are still grieving and they want to start something new with you and this could be somebody because they are miffed about how you are dealing with your emotions they are now cold shouldering you they are like why am i wasting my emotions on you though i feel there is love here there is love here or this could be that past energy who cold shouldered you they want to start something new with someone else and that's the reason now they're like hey we need to deal with this we need to you know figure this shit out and you're like but i'm still dealing with this and they're like no 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 whatever yeah so the cut conf that conflict is there this could be both you know someone trying to start something new with you or the past energy trying to start something new with someone else and that is the reason suddenly this has come in the forefront so with that two of cups i feel emotions are clearly involved this could be a past partner this could be an ex coming up or this could be someone who sees future with you and not happy about how you are stuck with the past and that depression that that cycle of emotion that's leaving you like that ball in the squash you know uh, court and they're talking about it clearly they're coming up eight of wands they're like whether it's the past energy or the new energy they're like what's the deal dude how long how long you're gonna take yeah they are in that action mode whether you are are or you are not i don't know but you are definitely taken by surprise and it is time to face 10 of cups those ugly truths it came in the reverse though something that was beautiful but came to an end or something that is beautiful that is promising as i said i feel both these energies here where in somebody from the past with whom you had this beautiful ten of cups but has cold shouldered you now this could be a separation situation where you know there was a period of no talks and suddenly they popped up again they might have you know suddenly out of the blue whatsapped you or left you a message or mailed you some kind of communication came from their side that left you completely you know bonkers in your head or this could be somebody with whom you are involved who want to start something with you and probably it's worth looking into it it could be for someone actually both the things happening simultaneously sadly this is a very complicated situation okay this feels emotionally very very multi-layered complex let's put it that way and we need to take time to think about this ten of pentacles ten of cups ten of pentacles coming with the hanged man hangman was a very wise man it's odin for god's sake yeah for the eternal wisdom odin gave one of his eye so we need to think through things really really wisely people take your time i do not know whether getting out of the cycle that you've been stuck in getting out of the conflict that you've been stuck in is going to open the doors for this success for this abundance for this beautiful cycle that is awaiting you with whom you wanna or the other you know energy that i feel who want to start something new with you and there's something beautiful awaiting you or maybe winding up this conflict is going to open doors for something beautiful i don't know it's just really really confused i don't even know what i'm saying seriously dang 
two of pentacles look it's working through things you need to really really work through this you cannot run away you cannot delay you cannot just keep delaying things you need to take action now sagis it is time to put your head and work through things and persevere and push through things you cannot delay it any further messenger of earth working through things five of swords five of wands i mean we have four times five here five of waters twice five of wands five of swords you gotta work through things to make whatever this freaking conflict is that is just leaving you insane in your head we gotta work through things so star the process of healing has to start even if it's a rough start it is a start and you have to accept it look comes with that balance the six of pentacles it is here this energy whosoever has ripped off that bandage the universe has sent this energy to bring in balance in your life the process of healing has to start whether you are ready for it or not i hear jesus justice with lovers look i'm telling you i really very strongly feel that this is for some of you an old lover coming in who is now an ex of sorts because you've been separated but you have not cut ties the energetic and otherwise emotions are very much intact you have not signed on dotted lines it has just been a phase of separation and uh, you gotta decide this way or that way sajis you cannot be hanging upside down in that limbo for too long you need to start thinking about money about your abundance about that ten of cups about your success about this new beginning which has so much of potential look ace of pentacles oh my god who is this death five of waters with death whatever is gone is gone and we need to accept this and this grief cycle needs to get wrapped up you need to at least start thinking on those lines sagis a cycle of grief you know the process of grief is not easy it's very individual and you cannot timeline it clearly because everybody processes grief in a different manner but that acceptance that it is done needs to be there for you to at least begin to heal page of earth and the two of fire life has definitely you know brought you to this crossroad for a reason there is nothing in life that happens for no reason clearly tower and the seven of swords dang with the six of swords okay six six wow success and peace that's what you want that's what you want okay you want the abundance and you want the happiness that 10 of cups and the 10 of pentacles is where i see but for that you need to face the truth and work through things that tower moment has happened whether you like it or not that acceptance of that tower moment needs to be there this is an inevitable thing that has happened there was cheating involved i feel someone cheated on someone and probably there were kids involved in this situation or somebody landed up cheating someone for someone younger than the one who got cheated upon oh my god uh this feels very yucky yeah your tower came crashing down people this is really 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 depressing but look underneath is empress 
universe is giving you this chance this very raw sudden out of the blue hit that is right now what you're dealing with it's for your peace for you to finally move towards that to move towards that new look oh wow two of wands two of cups that king of wands i see that's you right there you are at the crossroads to begin something new with someone that's gonna bring you peace and abundance and success my god saggies oh my god that does not feel like a fire reading at all this is very heavy very intense very full of drama actually let us get you an oracle guidance message to wrap up this rather intense reading sagis this is from the energy oracle deck spirit final word for my sagis final guidance message whoa okay i'm told all three all three happy family look i'm taken to that ten of cups this is what you really want i see rainbows in both of them this is what you truly desire caring connection there is a connect this listen this is what i'm saying for some there is a connection a new connection which is there because of oh there are four damn wow that's quite a bit of guidance coming your way spirit is like listen saggies come on <laughs> Oh my god, let's see what is there. Walking away. Walking away. Let your intuition guide you. We have the sixth chakra, Archangel Metatron. That is your third eye. Let your intuition guide you to walk away from that conflict towards this caring connection that is going to probably lead you towards a very happy family. And this for a lot at least the ones that i'm connecting with is the second chance in life you guys already have kids these are grown-up kids these are not infants yeah let us read how do we go about it spirit whoa okay we go from walking away to the sixth chakra the intuition towards a caring connection to okay okay we go like this that's a lot of reading right here let's quickly go to walking away letting go moving on this card shows someone walking away from the existing situation she's closing the gate behind her and is walking away into a misty unknown future this card upright reveals that it could be time for you to make a similar decision there may be something that you are finished with perhaps a career goal a relationship or a long-term experience of any kind that's what i'm talking about the familiarity of the situation may be enticing but you are now ready to look at your options on the open road ahead which i feel is leading you towards success and peace of mind in reality an important new beginning is at hand this card also indicates that now would be a good time to let go of an old habit, emotional pattern or false belief. No matter how deeply ingrained a negative pattern may be, you now have the power to release it and move on to a freer, healthier way of thinking and relating to yourself and others. Whether it's in the inner or the outer world, this card is telling you that you have the readiness and resources to walk away from the old and move forward now you do have that whether you want to accept that or realize that or not i don't know but you do have that and probably that is the reason you need to listen to your inner voice your intuition to lead you towards what is the right path for you that two of wands clarity of thought and personal vision this very powerful archangel metatron brings brilliant indigo vibrations to your brow chakra or the third eye 
which is the center devoted to insight and clear thoughts. When this card appears upright, it indicates a much greater clarity in your thought process and an expanded perspective towards broader horizons. Some new perceptions are taken hold and the clouds of confusion are clearing. In some ways, this could be a new beginning for you are on the way to developing a deeper insight about what's going on in your life and why. That process of healing, I feel I'm taken to that star. Now is the time to focus on your personal vision. What do you want your life to look like in the years ahead? Create a clear picture of that and support it with your daily thoughts. That's manifestation right there. That's tuning your subconscious mind. The insight you need to create a vibrant life is available to you now. You have the power, it's available to you. And a caring connection along with that, I feel. 14. Let us go to 14. Friendship, partnership of two, possible love. This card shows a couple in a tender embrace with the woman holding the blossoms of new love. Like the community card, this reveals a caring connection, but usually between two people only. This card upright signals the... I'm taken to this lover card, by the way, with justice. That might bring balance to your life, this new connection. This card upright signals the beginning or deepening of a kindred spirit friendship or even appearance of new love. It can also signify a formal business partnership. So it could be either this Ten of Cups or this Ten of Pentacles or both come together. When this card appears, be on the lookout of a new connections presenting themselves. The relationships you already share may become more intimate, purposeful or present at this time. Notice the opportunities to forge new or deeper bonds. That three of pentacles right there, forging through things. There may be a tender karmic connection at hand. There you go. And now we go to happy family. That's what your true inner desire is. Closeness, fun, and caring. The rainbow over this family portends a time of joy and celebration. Close connections are available, so don't overlook the fun and frivolity that a friend or family experience can bring. The value that you find in a truly loving relative or friend brings a higher vibration to your life force. You may be distracted or busy, but remember to put this part of your life in the forefront of your priorities. If you are single, finding this card in your spread could indicate a potential meeting or perhaps a relationship with someone who has children from previous marriage. See, this is what I'm saying. These are grown-up kids I saw. So this could be something that involves kids. This ready-made family might bring some challenges, but it could be your destiny in this lifetime. This card may also simply signify a celebration coming up, such as a wedding, anniversary, or a birthday party. So enjoy, Sagis. Time to come out of that depressive state of mind, that depressive cycle. It is time to kickstart that cycle of healing. Take your time, but at least acknowledge that it is time to move towards the peace and hope. And on that note, my Sagis, I'm going to take your leave. I thank you all for joining me. It's a wrap. Namaste from the land of gods.